Today, we review what's inside these massive boxes full of vintage Yu-Gi-Oh cards and collectible items. What's up, Breaker Army? I'm Card Breaker. Welcome back to another epic video. Like you saw on that intro, we've got two massive boxes full of vintage Yu-Gi-Oh cards and collectible items that I really, I'm not sure if the seller moved on to different TCGs like the previous one did where he went to Magic. Boohoo, but it's okay guys. People got to move on to bigger and better things and sometimes you got to swoop in and get some good deals when you can. So I'm very excited to see what all we have in here because some of it's a surprise as a seller's like, hey, I'm just going to give you everything. So let's get into these boxes. Before we check out what's inside those two massive boxes, see what we have for our vintage collection. I do have a more modern collector's rare of Joel and Lockbird to give away to one lucky winner. Then for a chance to win, make sure you leave a like on today's video. Make sure you're a subscriber. Make sure you guys ring that bell. And per usual, let me know your favorite items from this collection because there is some other stuff than just cards. Make sure you do watch all the way through to see what might be your favorite because it might not be the cards this go around. But let's check out what we've got inside of our boxes. I have the first box open and inside of there were these three awesome boxes. I don't know if this is like an official Konami box. I, I'm going to guess like that's a big no, but this is actually really cool. So it's like it's got like an Egyptian hieroglyph on there. So there's this one. There is a more modern tandem here that... Like, it sounds like there's some cards in here. This, I, I want to say the smaller box, again, the seller just kind of tossed in there because he was just moving on from a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff or just trying to downsize his collection pretty much. So we have this box here, and then this one is actually really cool. I got to move this out of the way to make some space. But this one, I don't know the, like, story behind these, but I see these pop up from time to time on, like, Facebook, eBay, stuff like that. And I can't remember if they all came with, like, a... Oh, here we go. Maybe it has some information. So let's flip this around. So Deluxe Edition Starter Deck Pegasus includes one starter deck, starter deck. It's got two Labyrinth of Nightmare booster packs and 50 Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Metallic Duelist Protectors. So basically just card sleeves in a collectible card storage box. So this was the storage box. This is so cool. I wish this was like in minty condition, but you know, it is what it is. This collection has been around a long time. But let's check out what's inside our first box. So here we go. Let's go into this one. I don't really know what's in here because I think the seller like sent me a smaller TCG list. And he's like, hey, I'm just going to send you all my stuff pretty much like Oh, these might be his items he had on his eBay. So this was everything that's inside of that box. We've got some random sleeves thrown there maybe to keep the suspense. So let's see what we've got. So our first card is going to be a PSA 8 Parasite Parasite from Pharaoh Servants. So that's very cool. So if somebody's in the in the market for one of these, let me know. And I do hang on to a lot of the collection, like vintage stuff for the collection as well. So we've got that. We've got a Legool, a classic. This guy must have been like a big Weevil fan. So we got the Legool for PSA 9, or PSA 8, excuse me, first edition from Meta Raiders, and then a Great Moth. <laughs> so yes, this guy must have been a big Weevil fan. So these were all used in the anime, anime for Battle Cities and everything. Against Mostly against Joey, and then Great Moth, obviously, in the classic Duel Monsters era. Battling against good old our guy Yugi. So that was our first box, a bunch of PSA 8s from the classic Frail Servant and Meta Raiders. Let's see what is in that tin. Let's crack into this tin to see what's in here. It sounds like it's a bunch of like loose stuff going around. Oh, it's taped shut. So I guess that's good. Kind of keep everything sealed inside of the tin here. So let's check this out. What are your guys' thoughts so far? What do you think is going to be in this collection? You think we've got some epic stuff? Looks like maybe some more modern cards in here. Again, this is mostly all just kind of like mixed stuff. So if we find anything big, then obviously we'll kind of take a look at it. But we're probably just going to like mostly skip through some of this stuff because it is it does look like mostly yeah, mostly modern stuff a louvers louvers that's always decent oh lightning storms that's not bad from kiko as well that's actually pretty good brandon in red once upon a time was pretty expensive oh a classic swords are revealing light that's not bad and a polymerization okay so we've actually got some decent stuff here <laughs> we got some decent stuff polymerization man eater bug we got two lob copies we got a kaiko oh my gosh okay so we've got some some decent stuff here decent stuff i'm not gonna freak out just yet oh look at that Look at that. That is very well loved, very well played. We've got a Defusion, Card Destruction, Nobleman of Cross Out. That's a solid card. Reload, Garnesia, Sasuke Samurai, Dust Tornado. Okay, so hey, we're hitting some pretty cool stuff. Oh, a Crossroads of Chaos, Secret Rare. The creator, oh, I love these promos. Absolutely love them. That is so cool. Duelist League, Toon Goblin Attack Force, Contract with Exodia. we got a Scapegoat, Scapegoat, Scapegoat. Griffin Wing, a this is all OG print guys as well. All OG. We've got some just loose commons. A hollow started at Kaiba Flute of Summoning Dragon. Crystal Beast, Sapphire Pegasus, our classic Joey, or not Joey, oh my god, Jesse Anderson, not Joey Anderson. Who is Joey Anderson? <laughs> that's that that's the anime that you find off of Wish. We've got a Griffin Wing, Necroshade, Anti-Human, and a Magic Spectre. Although that's an actual newer one, Magic Magic. Uh, 
Mega Pack 16. Getting back into this tan, so we actually have some pretty cool stuff. Again, big shout out to the seller. I, I, with collections and stuff, I don't know if people always want to have like their information out there, so I do tend to keep that private. If they wish to shout themselves out in the comments, you know, please feel free. Um, I did tell them they'll be posting this on my YouTube channel, so they are aware of that at least. So let's get into the rest of some of this box here. We got a sandstone. Oh, that's a first ed LOB common. Not in the best condition, but still first edition. We've got starter deck Joey Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes. Oh my god, starter deck Joey Red Eyes. I was looking at the blue eyes, trying to read the red eyes. We've got Relinquish, Stardust Pegasus, Pegasus, some more modern stuff. Deer Note, Once Upon a Time was pretty expensive. Shield Crush, Quick Draw, all different colors. Oh, is that all of them? Yeah. We've got the red, the purple, and the blue. Very cool. Dehark, Dehark Charmer. Tenny Spirit, Tenny Spirits, number 38, RIP with a reprint there. Giant Trunade. Up next is, what is behind it? Red Eyes, Darkness Dragon. Kaiser Seahorse, Ocean Dragon Lord, not the... Fancy misprint one, Black Lesser Soldier, another Relinquish, Ryoku, Ryoku, another Scapegoat, Ariana. Oh, look at that classic sleeve. So our guy, uh, Gezi, is kind of remaking some of those sleeves nowadays with his his newer sleeves. So big shout out to Gezi, big shout out to Strictly Sealed for all that they do for making the best collectible, like TCG accessories and stuff. And let's go into this last one. So we got a poor RIP. He was in Rue there in the bottom. Let's go into the last couple bits for this tin. As with any collection, I never really know how long these videos are going to be, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. we got maybe too many cards, but we're going to rough through it. Multiple Destruction, Future Fusions, Mark of the Rose, very nice from Crossroads of Chaos, Wing Karibo. I don't think I don't think these were all kind of worked into the price, so obviously at the end of this video, let me know, guys, what you think. I think the collection's worth what you think I paid. Just a, It's always a little fun little game. we got a Wing Karibo from Lost Millennium, two of those. Breed, Buster Drake, A Assault Core, Seacrest Wyvern, Ultimate Insect, that's a hollow from Crossroads of Chaos, very nice to see. Spell Shield Type 8, we got something from Hidden Arsenal, The Secret Forces, more Hidden Arsenal, a Classics, a um, Special Edition card from Storm Ragnarok. We got Demise and Ruin, that is beautiful to see, can never go, never go wrong seeing those two, the Wombo Combo from Shadows of Infinity, a Magical Exemplar from Light of Destruction, some really good stuff actually here, I'm actually... Pretty, pretty hyped to see some of these cards. Let's flip these over. Got a Nano Breaker. Oh, Red Eyes, a Black Dragon. Two of those from the uh, new Legendary Collection. So put those to the side. Those have got some, got some good, pretty good value. My favorite modern card. We've got the Illusion of Chaos and some pretty beat up promos there. But hey, there's some beautiful promos. Definitely some beautiful promos. Got another one of these. Oh, that's a first edition. Hopefully that's in good condition. Two of those. Let's go. Here we go. So maybe these are going to be some pretty solid collection uh, upgrades for the, you know, for the binders and everything. Going through here, got some more classic stuff. Just a just a good vintage collection, guys. Again, this is this is one of my favorite things to do. Vintage collections, mail day videos, by far my most favorite things to do. And you know, just a little teaser. Some of the some of this upcoming stuff might be in some upcoming mystery packs. So if you guys like what you see here, be ready to grab some mystery packs and maybe get some of the stuff yourself. But hey, we got one more gigantic box to go into. You guys saw what was there, so maybe you got some more bangers in that next one. I am actually really excited to check out this Pegasus box. I've never actually owned one of these, never opened one. Oh, dear God. <laughs> we might be here for a long time, guys. Again, sit back, relax, and enjoy. We've got a lot of stuff in here. These are really kind of crammed in there, so let's just grab a stack that we can actually get out, maybe. Let's grab these purple sleeve cards. Let's get these out. I don't want to damage anything, of course. So let's just start here. Let's just start with this little stack and kind of work our way through this box. We have quite the collection, guys. <laughs> Invader of Darkness. We got oh, we got some classic stuff for sure. Karma Cut, Karma Cut. This card actually always has some pretty good value from uh, from Shadow of Infinity. Horseback. We've got Goblin Attack Force, Marauding Captain, DD Warrior Lady. Um, that's a classic from Dark Crisis, my favorite set. In case you guys did not know, Tsukiyomi. Some more classics, more commons, some hollows thrown in here. So there's one stack. This is going to be so fun to go through. I say fun. Sometimes sometimes it is really enjoyable to go through these collections. I'm just going to try and grab. Like what I can without really like damaging anything. There we go. So yeah, just grab what I can. Sometimes it's really fun to go through these collections. Sometimes it's really just time consuming and pain in the butt. But this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's got a good little mix of modern with vintage and stuff kind of tossed in there. So yeah, Penguin Soldier among all of these. So we got a more modern reprint. Um, what do I? What did I say in the last collection video? It is not a vintage collection without the copy of these three. It's just not. Like it literally cannot be. <laughs> Energy Drain. Backup Soldier, Backup Soldier, Jar of Greed. This card always has some good value as well. Magical Hats, Griffin Wing, and uh, some more modern stuff. 
Going back into our Starter Deck Pegasus box, not quite showing up to be a Starter Deck Pegasus lot so far, but that is okay. That is perfectly okay. I just love to see what is possibly hiding for us in here. Well, another Andrew Spinks, of course, again, would not be a vintage collection without seeing one of those. So um, just the weird mix, like what is the rhyme or reason for how this stuff was organized? If there is actually any rhyme or reason, maybe, 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 maybe not. <laughs> Yeah, so just a bunch of like stuff mixed around in here. That is, that's okay. You know, that's my job after this is done to go through and check out all this stuff afterwards, separate all the hollows, the big hits. You know, there's still, there's a random Japanese card in there. There's still is some, some pretty good value and even some of the commons and rares from back in the day. You know, definitely don't let them fool you just because they are commons and rares. They, they still have some pretty decent value. So, but it does look like there's a good bit of like just hollow bulk. Like this looks like it's all hollow bulk from Ghost from the Past 2. There's obviously the like the red eyes he got from Legendary Collection are mixed in there. Goes from the past, some speed duel stuff, a lot of speed duel stuff. Tempest, oh that's cool. We got Tempest that might actually be worth something. I'll set those to the side because I might forget about those later. <laughs> I probably will. Knowing me. All right, Blue Flame Swordsman, that's cool. That is a oh that is awesome. Hopefully that's in good condition. I'm actually keep that one. Keep that to the side. That's dope. We got Dark Necrofear, Raviel, Haman. Going through here looks like we got some XZs. I don't know if these are intentionally. Organized this way. If they are, they're gonna get they're gonna get all mixed around, but that's okay. Bright fur, elemental hero, frozen fit Gerald. Yeah, it looks like these were organized, unfortunately. They are no longer organized anymore. Sorry to the seller. Yeah, obviously you put a lot of time and effort into organizing these cards, and we just completely messed it all up. <laughs> but you know, this this is our job now to go through and reorganize, deorganize, just have some fun going through it all. I don't want to oh, come on. Move these around too much. Let's get those that way. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, that, that definitely did not work. All right, so there, there's a chunk. There, There is one chunk. Let's check these out. So we've got another. I love this card. We got one in the last collection. We've got another one. I will always, always collect those. Some of my favorite, or one of my favorite structure decks out there. Red Eyes B Chick. Fusion Weapon. So a lot of commons here. Quickly go through these. Time Adjuster. Maybe, they're, maybe these weren't like intentionally organized in one specific way. Branded, we've got Ad Libitum. Yeah, that, that was a lot of like more modern bulkish, but again, that's okay. It's it's, it's gonna be like that sometimes. Got a Yugi's legendary deck, a trap jammer, scapegoat, red eyes, blue eyes, some more modern stuff going through, going through quickly. Again, this I think all this was a hey, I'm just trying to offload everything in my collection. Go ahead and just send it all to you type gig, <laughs> pretty much. So yeah, like we we've actually hit some pretty nice stuff, and I don't think this is all factored into the final actual price we paid. We've got some more to go in this box. For time's sake, I went ahead and just took everything out of the box just so it'd be a little bit easier and save maybe a little bit of time. Maybe, maybe not, but but greed uh, is just, you know, barren, <laughs> not even in a hollow, or not even a sleeve. That's okay. All right, going through here, let's see. What are the goodies might be waiting for us? That's a first edition Cybernetic Revolution Hollow of Cyber Twin. A bunch of beat up commons, commons, rares, commons, commons, commons. Let's see, quickly go through these. Don't want to bore you guys too much with some of that stuff. We got a giant true nade from Magic Ruler that is beat. That is definitely very beat. We got some Legend of Blue Eyes stuff. More LOB, LOB, Cyberdark Keel from Cyberdark Impact. Very, very nice. I love to see these. Lord of D. Oh yeah, here we go. I got some decent hollows, some legacy or uh Legacy of Darkness. Almost said Legacy of Destruction again. I can't believe I said that last time. I cannot believe it. Yes, you guys can make fun of me because obviously I goofed on that one. <laughs> That's okay, it happens to the best of us. All right, again, don't want to keep this video like too long, but we got to go through this collection, guys. That's why I say just grab your popcorn, sit back, relax, and enjoy this stuff because it's definitely not every day you get to see a lot of vintage collection, you know, albeit some of this stuff is pretty beat. That's just that's what happens when you've had this stuff forever. It's it's bound to happen. Dark Strike Fighter from, ooh, from Crimson Crisis. Very nice. Um, Archfiend Zombie Skull. This card actually got printed as a ultimate rare in the OCG. We never got it in the TCG, unfortunately, but... That just how it be sometimes. Ooh, first edition from Stardust Overdrive. This card actually, I think, has some really good value for a super. I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> there's there's a lot of random 5D stuff that has never had reprints. Oh, RIP to that gear freed. But a lot of the stuff has never had reprints, and it's super popular in Edison format. So that I guess that kind of makes sense a little bit. All right, going on. Ooh, first edition amplifier. Very good, very good. Got a Blacklister Ritual, a bunch of those. Oh, look at that classic sleeve, guys. I love seeing it. Absolutely love seeing it. Sky Scourge, we got a Ryoku Field. I'm just trying to pull, like, when I see them, these first edition original stuff, just, like, out to the side. Look at how many of these this guy opened. Like, so many expansion packs. Why? Why so many? Going into our last stack before we go into the big box and really everything that we intentionally purchased from the collection. I'm actually really, really excited to get into those. I'm guessing this is all like the same stuff. Yeah, these are this is all Andro Sphinx. 
All of them. These are all Thinians. We are, we are not going through those. <laughs> oh, that's our reverse. We got some misprints. Okay, we'll check out those in just a second. Sword Soul Moyi, that's actually pretty good. Oh, oh, do we have a Sword Soul part of a deck here? Oh, Sword Soul Emergence, that's a good one as well. Elemental Hero, draw a Lockboard from Tama. Those used to have some pretty good value. Ooh, Jinzo BPT. Let's, uh, I'm going to take that one out just because I want to check that guy out. You don't see don't see him all that often. Got some Kiko, number F0. Those cards were expensive for a minute, but they got reprinted in Battle of Legend. Oh, is that a, is that a collector's rare? I think that is a random collector's rare. We got a Trap Hole thrown in here. There's, a, there's some random stuff. You never know with collections, guys. Like, what's really, really, like, truly waiting for you in there. That That is, like, the thrill of buying collections. You just, you never know sometimes. You truly never know. Ryoku, a Rocket Warrior. Let's check these out real quick. See, I'm pretty sure this is a collector's rare. Let's, uh, yeah, this is definitely a collector's rare. So that is a random Guilty Gear Freed. <laughs> I don't know uh, how that snuck in there, but this is, like, a really, really underrated and underappreciated collector's rare from King's Court. So our guy actually opened up a bunch of King's Court, which is cool. Maybe there will be some of the 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 um, the um Pharaoh's Rare Beast in there. Oh my god, not the Beast, but the God cards. Oh, RIP to this Jinzo. It looks to be eh, moderately played, heavily played, somewhere around there. I, I wouldn't put it, put it quite as like heavily played. Maybe like more like moderately played. So I got a reverse misprint. Oh, it's a Thousand Dragon, one of my favorite misprints. So for those who do not know, the secret rare usually goes that direction. This time it's going that direction. And this actually looks to be in pretty solid condition too. We're going to definitely further inspect this one after I see like a little scratch in the back there. But that is a reverse Thousand Dragon. You certainly do not see that guy every day. And then the next one, oh, it's a reverse Imperial Order. So this guy did say he had some, some misprints that he was unsure if he was going to toss in. So this is a reverse Imperial Order from Pharaoh's Servant. So not it looks like LP condition just based on the back there, but... Still pretty cool to see. Still pretty cool to see. Maybe he tossed in the rest of those misprints. We're going to have to see as we get through the rest of this collection. All right, we got, I think that's Obliterate, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and Exodia, the Legendary Defender, something like that, or Exod. No, I think this is Exodia, the Legendary Defender. These are pretty cool. So these are like a, a different version of like the Pharaoh's Rares, I guess you could say. Spirit Message, Man Eater Bug, looks like a bunch of commons, rares, Cyber Barrier Dragon. That's cool. We got a really beat up Polymerization, <laughs> Treasure Map. Windstorm, yeah, so quickly, quickly go through these. Oh, Banner Show the Radiance, I think. Is that one expensive? Is that an expensive rare? I think so. I'm going to put that to the side just because I really can't remember. Herald, 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 Herald. Oh, my God. So many Heralds. <laughs> if you guys need some Heralds, I got you, bro. A lot of enemy Justice has been opened by this by this person. Majestic Mech Oka, a lot of Majestic Mechs, Elemental Absorber, Windstorm Etiqua, Divine Wrath. This it wouldn't be a vintage collection without seeing Divine Wrath and the Thinian and all the different Sphinx. <laughs> Well, there was our uh, our first mini box of, you know, kind of the smaller box of the collection. If this was just the teaser and all the freebies and stuff, I can't wait to see what's in that big box. I finally cracked into that large box and oh my God, I, we've got some stuff to show you guys. So first things, nothing like super crazy exciting, but these are the Egyptian God decks. These are the newer ones that kind of came out, eh, what, like two-ish years ago. So these are pretty cool. They're not in perfect condition, but hey, they were in there. And then the next one, again, not perfect, but it's a Dragon's Collide. I don't think I've ever actually seen this one. So if you guys are familiar with this one, you know, let me know. And then going up next, we actually have some really cool Beckett Collection Binders. I don't know if you guys remember seeing these from my collections uh, a good bit ago. So we're going to check these out. Not in perfect conditions, but these were just... I know I had a few from way back in the day. They were never, ever salvaged in really good condition. So these are just really cool to see. We got the Yu-Gi-Oh! one. This one is... What is this? August slash September 2002. So yeah, these guys, these things are old, everybody. These things are very, very old. Just check this out. All this first edition LOB stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that is crazy. So there's our first one. Our next one is a Dark Magician one. This is uh, February, March 2003. So quickly just, you know, flip through there. Nothing, you know, nothing specific we're going to stop on, but there's that one. We got an Obelisk, the Tormentor. I'm not going to, you know, spend too much time on all of these, but yeah, very, very cool of these collection binders. And then speaking of binders, this is going to be very difficult to show, and I don't want to spend too much time removing these cards individually, but there is a binder. So let me see if I can get creative. I'm going to probably do what we usually do and just kind of like slide back and forth in here because I don't actually have a top down like camera view. So we're just going to do our best to view this the best we can and check out all the good cards that are in this collection. So I decided because this binder is literally all the way full of cards, it would take me probably an hour to remove all of these, go through them and everything. So I don't know if like tilting the camera down might be better. Let's let's try that. So just so maybe you guys can see some of these cards. But 
you guys can see we're starting off with some really good stuff. We've got all of, let's see if I can move the light around a little bit, maybe to help the glare some. But we've actually got an entire GBI set all the way up here at the top. So this is the Slifer, Obelisk, and then of course the Raw. Then we have the YMA, we've got the Jump, and then the DoD, Wing Dragon of Brawl. So these cards are just insane looking. And then check this out, we've got a the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. We've got a Elemental Hero, Eremios, a First Edition Trihorn Dragon, and then a Bloon, or Bloon, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. So I don't know, like I can't remember the, the condition on all of these. I think I remember the the Forbidden Air Neos actually being near Mint. That's what I remember. That's what I think I remember. So we'll check this out really quick. Different camera angle than what we're used to. So just a quick little glance here. So hopefully it's, it's I, I don't know if I would classify that as like near Mint Mint. Maybe like, like TCG near Mint just because like the back is a little bit scuffed up. But you know, with collections like this, you're bound to have some stuff that's not perfect. So it is what it is. Then going on to the next page, let's check out what we have here. So on this side, we actually have some, we've got the VB5, the Valuable Book 5 Prismatic. We've got an injection fairly lily. So I, I apologize, like I don't have the best setup, you know, for viewing binders and stuff. We've got some LOB. So we've got a foil shifted uh, right leg there. We've got the head, the limbs, all that different stuff. And then apparently this entire page is all reverse misprint. So we've got the Imperial Order, Magic Cylinder, Trihorn Dragon, which I still need in really good condition. Hopefully that one is a Jinzo, a Gemini Elf. We've got the Ultra, Ultra name. Actually, I think I maybe mentioned this in this one of my videos a while ago. So we've got a Ultra Rare, which is, the name is Ultra Rare, and then the Reverse Secret Gaia the Dragon Champion. So that one's actually pretty tough to come by. Not super, super expensive, because you obviously have the different variations for the misprint. You have the Reverse one that is regular secret name, and then the secret name, or excuse me, the Ultra name, and then, you know, so on and so on and so forth. But this one is cool. This is a faded Thousand Eyes Dragon that is also reverse, I'm guessing. Or, you know, let's check this one out real quick. So, no, this one is not reverse, but it is faded. So that's actually really cool. So different camera angle here, guys. Let me know what, what your thoughts are. Obviously, this is not what you guys are used to seeing. But, you know, this is the best way I can actually show a binder off to you guys. So on this page back here, all the BPTs, Dark Magician, Buster Blader, Blue Eyes. We got B Skull, Red Eyes, Lord of D. So hopefully all these cards are not all, like, damaged. That We're just going to do our best to kind of quickly go through these. Check them all out. We've got a, this one's definitely beat up, a GBI Ultra Rare <laughs> Wing Dragon of Raw. So here's the rest of the BPTs up there. Slifer for Sky Dragon, Dark Paladin. I know that there were a few of those that were mixed in that were like not mint mint and stuff like that, but it is what it is. So hopefully, again, we're going to go through and find some decently conditioned stuff, but I'm not, I don't have my hopes up too much with this. So let me know what you guys think I paid for this collection. Going through this side, a bunch of SDK Blue Eyes. Oh, this one actually has some really nice Hollow Bleed. This is like one of my favorite printings. Oh, that is a bleeder. <laughs> Definitely not in the best condition. I can never find one of these that is like a super crazy heavy bleeder in like really, really solid condition. It just never happens. Then going on to a Dark Magician page, we got Cosmo Queen, two Dark Magician Girl, a bunch of Dark Magicians from SDY. We've got another Dark Paladin. This one has some tape on there. Oh my gosh, I remember having one of those from back in the day a Dark Magician up there on top from LOB, so some really epic stuff so far. What are your guys' thoughts on this collection so far? Obviously, we've seen some pretty cool stuff. You know, not all of it's like minty condition. I see that this actual Dark Magician might be like possibly wavy somewhere around there, so maybe we gotta go through all of these and see what hidden gems we might have. This one's like a little bit faded up there on the top, but keeping this going, we've got some more uh, some more bangers. We've got some ultis, a Banish for the Radiance, Warrior of Atlantis, Alien Warriors. Got some, uh, some other random mixed stuff up here. Doom Kaiser Dragon, a VW XYZ Dragon Catapult up there in the top. Bunch of just, bunch of random stuff. Bunch of random stuff. Let's get this strap out of the way. Let's get that on the back of the binder. There we go. So a bunch of random stuff. Bunch of ultis. We've got uh, DD Trap Hole, Force Back. We've got the Exodius, the Ultimate Forbidden Lord. Very cool. And then some premium pack stuff. Oh, Cyber Dragons. That's the 10 promos. The Misprint, Zara the Mant, and the Misprint Legacy of Yada. So that's actually pretty cool to see. Oh, Misprint Red Eyes as well. So that's actually freaking sick. And then you know, just making sure we're always recording. Don't actually like unrecord and, you know, just mess up the video. So some sneak peeks um, or sneak previews. What are these called? Some some type of preview pack um, or expansion, something like that. I think it's like sneak preview, sneak peek. We got some jump ones in, mixed in here as well. Some more promos. We've got the CT promos, uh, some jump promos here. CT, CT, CT. Uh, Magicians of a carry up there at the top. We've got the jump victory dragon. Pretty common jump promo, but still very cool to see. Keeping this going, we do actually have one more binder to go through as well. So this isn't the only one. We've got more classics, a uh, Master Collection, Exodia Necros, and Exodia down there. A uh, Modern Rarity Collection, Egyptian God Slime. That's actually kind of cool to see. So keeping this going, what else we got? Some game promos, the Alpha, Beta, Gamma, classic combo there. 
Aqua Chorus. So yeah, some pretty good stuff overall. Again, what's really going to be the kicker of this one is the the conditions of everything. So hopefully, hopefully everything is you know decent condition. <laughs> Decent condition. I want to completely lose lose my end on this one. We got the Master Collections of Thousand Eyes, uh, Breaker, and Black Luster Soldier up there. One of my favorites. I want to get my hands on a sealed Master Collection one day. It'll it'll happen one of these days. We got some tune cards. Where is a small soldier? I know you're going to be very very keen on trying to grab this from me. A Armed Dragon Super and Ultra combo down there. Uh, Dark Red Enchanter. Very underrated artwork from up there in the top. So keeping this going, next little bit, we've got some uh, some Cyber End Dragons, which that was first edition, but unfortunately it is not. Sort of like Joey first head up there, that's pretty nice, so right up there. And then on the other side, we've got Buster Blader, Lord of D, I think that's regular print there. Yeah, a bunch of started at Pegasus prints, nothing super, super crazy. Um, let's see, anything that jumps out, oh, a first edition Ultra from Shadow of Infinity, that's pretty cool. And then on this side, we've got, what's jumping out here? We've got, um, oh wait, Barrel Dragon. Looks to be like a little bit faded. It's not definitely not in great condition. This thing has seen some better days, but a little bit faded on this Barrel Dragon. So pretty cool. Definitely nowhere near like max fade, super heavy fade, anything like that. But pretty cool nonetheless. All right, going on to this side, we've got the EN print Thousand Dragon, it seems. The regular print Thousand Dragon. Yamada Dragon and Guardian Sphinx. We got some more Injection Fairy Lilies. Where's Josh? Josh and Mark. I know you guys might want to grab those. <laughs> Which, you know, speaking of, if there's anything in here you guys want to purchase, just reach out to me on Instagram um, or, you know, of course, email me. Hit me up in the Discord, anything like that, because obviously I'm not being, going to be keeping a lot of this stuff. And like I mentioned earlier, some of this stuff will be put into mystery packs. I'm going to try and do my best to not use anything that is below lightly played. Which, let me know, guys, like for mystery packs... For those who have been purchasing them or been on the fence or your thoughts on mystery packs, like as long as I'm upfront when it comes to mystery packs, what do you guys think on stuff that's below lightly played? So like MP, like I'm talking like big cards. Like I wouldn't put just like junk stuff in there that's MP or heavily played, but we're talking like, you know, some some pretty pretty good bangers as moderately played. So it's still pretty super, you know, super collectible. But anyway, back to this one. That's kind of a little little uh side vent there, but we got some more LOB hollows, classic stuff there. Uh, DD Warrior Lady, my classic favorite cards from Dark Crisis, Mirage Knight. Where's the Dark Flare Knight? It better be in here. <laughs> better be in here. All right. We're almost done with this first binder. We got one more to go. Again, apologize for the not perfect kind of camera angle for binders. Doing the best I can with what I got. That's just what we have to do sometimes. Let's see. We've got some classic trap cards, magic cylinders. This is, we've got two, one first edition up there from Labyrinth of Nightmare. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, two first edition Call of the Haunted. That's freaking sick. Negate Attack. We actually managed to pick up one of those from GG Vision, one of his mystery packs lately. And surprise, surprise, that's actually pretty expensive. I didn't know it crept up so much. Ooh, here we go. Throwing it back, guys. Seven Tools of the Bandit, Chain Destruction, Magic Jammer, Ceasefire, Horn of Heaven. We've got Master Restrict, Spellbinding Circle, first edition down there. Very, very cool. We've got two Mirror Forces or three Mirror Forces up there. Those are all Meta Raiders. And this one actually is like kind of faded, too. Let's check this out real quick. Uh, I don't want to take too much of your guys' time up because this video is already going to be kind of long, but... This one is just a little bit faded, not super crazy faded, but it's still cool to see faded Mirror, Mirror Force, one of my favorites for sure. And then almost done, this is our last page for this binder here, nothing nothing super crazy. There is a Power Capsule, Grave Robber, Trap Hole, Drop Off, and a Skull Dice. So there's our first binder, let's check and see what's in the other binder. I know I'm excited to see what's inside the second binder, I don't really remember all the cards the seller sent me, you know, when he, they sent me the list, so... I was just kind of like viewing this for the first time again for everything, so let's check out and see what we've got. We've got... Some classics, we've got Axe of Despair, a Mystical Space Typhoon, a couple Snatch Steals. That card actually has definitely creeped up in value over the last last couple months since it got unbanned. But on this side, Soul Exchange, Mage Power, Graceful Charities, a bunch of classic spell cards. So maybe this is going to be a lot of the spells, traps, things like that. Uh, first Edition Delinquent Duo, Prematerial Barrier there on the top, cost down. Oh, here we go. Now we've got some pretty cool stuff. So we've got, let's get these, uh, get these back in their original places here. So... Polarization, Dark Hole, Raigeki, all from Legend of Blue Eyes. We've got the classics, Messenger Peace, Noble and Cross Out, uh, Rota up there at the top, two first edition Rotas, very, very nice. And then on the other side, let's go into this one. Uh, let's see what we've got here. So a little bit of a mix of everything. So Heavy Storm, some Meta Raiders, some LOB. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun going through all this stuff because there, there's a lot. There's a whole lot to dissect here. <laughs> oh, we've got some first edition LOB mixed up in here. So we've got, um, you know, Lesser Dragon, Sandstone, Laser Cannon Armor. So maybe, nah, I'm not staying super hopeful, but maybe there'll be some near mint to mint LOB first ed stuff. Uh, all right, so it looks like we've got a bunch of comments. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this second binder, but this is all first edition stuff. So, um, oh, here we go. Uh, this, 
this is where the purchase ends. So it actually included a note. That's awesome. So this is uh, this is where the collection ends. This is really awesome of the seller. This is, again, you guys can see where the collection ends. He includes this note. And then everything from this page forward is a bonus. So maybe maybe all their other stuff wasn't a bonus. Maybe it was in the list. I, I really I can't remember everything. But we got a Caius, the Shadow Monarch. So this, uh, this is a pretty good card here. Very heavily used. I want to say in Edison format, if I'm not mistaken. And then just a bunch of other stuff here. Dust Tornado, Griffin Wing, Javelin Beetle. Uh, Penguin Soldier, we've got uh, Change of Heart, Fiber Jar, very, very cool. Burfamed up there in the top. So keeping this going, we've got some SKEs, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Lava Golem, not bad. So appreciate the freebies, you know, with collections and stuff like that, it's definitely not not the cheapest thing to acquire, but, you know, I definitely appreciate any seller that wants to hook you up anytime you're moving a large collection that it's just, it's, you know, it's a, I don't know, it's not necessarily, I kind of think about like a tip, like if you're tipping your server. <laughs> definitely not necessarily, but it, it is nice. So going through the rest of this stuff, we've got Legendary Collection, uh, Yugi's World First Edition. Is that a Hollow? It doesn't look like a Hollow. Oh, I'm thinking of the um, the Duelist Pack Yugi. That's what I'm thinking of. That one is a Hollow, not the Legendary Collection one, unfortunately. They could have given us the Ultimate Rare of that one, but they did not. I don't know why they didn't. That kind of sucks. But we've got some more stuff in here. Uh, nothing crazy, crazy. We've got a Raigeki Hollow. Let's see. Yeah, nothing, nothing super, super crazy that's like jumping out at me. But it's still like we've got uh, Extreme Victory, TG Halberd Cannon up there in the top, a Majestic Star Dragon from Duelist Pack. Yeah, so like nothing super, super crazy. But again, these are all freebies. These are all cards that you know we can use as giveaways, all different stuff for future stuff like that. Um, let me know, obviously, what you guys are seeing in the collection here. If there's something that jumps out to you, if there's anything you wanted to grab for your personal binder, there's gonna be a lot of good stuff. Definitely a lot of good stuff. So again, Wrapping up these last few pages here, these are all these are all freebies. This is all stuff that he must have just had that he's like, all right, man, I just want to offload it all. You can take it all. <laughs> just take it all. Get all of it. Take it all. The Magic Cylinders. We've got Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. Wish those were the secrets. That would be really cool to have. Looks like two more pages, maybe. Yeah, two more pages. Just a couple cards up here. Those down there. And then the very last one. Let's see. Any big surprise? Oh, we've got some classics. So Ryoku Field, a Big Burn, a Drop Off, and a Orca Megafort Mega Fortress of Darkness. They're on the last page. So quite the collection, you know, very kind of mixed condition, seeing some stuff that had some creases, some bends, some stuff that looked to be maybe possibly near mint. So let me know if there's anything in here that catches your eye. You guys want to grab, of course, I always, I always enjoy going through these collections. Let me know what you guys think I pay. Let me know what you guys think it's worth. It's always cool to hear, of course, your guys' opinions. But if you guys want to support the channel even further, consider joining as a channel member. Make sure you guys leave a like on today's video and, of course, subscribe for some more content just like this. I do have to give a massive shout out to my channel members, Rare Hunter X, Sargoni666, Hey Dragon, Mark Donnelly, Cody Slater, Attention Duelist, Josh Evans, Michael P. Sutton, Lazy Dane, Drew E., Evan Rudolph, Allison Snell, Will Breaks TCG, Ram22, Roland Pryor, PJ Flesner, Austin and Kayla, and Capiba. Thank you all for supporting the channel. I do hope you have a nice day. Hope you have a nice night. I will see you guys in the next one. This is Cardbreaker. I'm out.